All right, so we are back. This is Lisa Waters Lane, her segment, all about her because life in my world <laughs> should always revolve around you. That's right. And my dogs. And your grandkids. And, and your kids. My kids and, my grandkids. and your dogs. <laughs> Have you got our next dog planned out yet? Oh, yeah. You already know the answer to that. It's, this is for is the listeners. Yes, I do. <laughs> But I'm waiting. I have to sneak it in. Here. I have to sneak it in. Just wait till one of them dies. You get another one. Wait two dogs at a time. No more <laughs> than two. We can't have a pack. And, and travel size is good. Preferably yes. that goes in an airplane. It would be travel size. Ah, perfect. So we had our little miniature schnauzer, Callie, up yeah. at the lake. That dog it's a lake loves dog. the lake. Loves, loves, loves boats. Loves the boat, loves the lake, loves to swim. She was yeah. all over the place. She's a better swimmer. Then the Labradoodles, <laughs> uh, just, uh, it pretty much keeps up with even labs. Yeah. There, she's uh, she's a schnauzer. You wouldn't think of a schnauzer as a as a water dog, but she was raised on the water. She loves I, the water. She did great. She yeah. loved it. Yeah. So yes. Oh, you want to talk about gardening? Well, I was thinking about what the other. I was waiting for the uh, <laughs> other foot to drop. You've already got another dog order, but I, oh no, no, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> okay, good. But sometime. Yep. Some point. But yes, gardening. So while we were gone up yeah. at the lake, yeah, we got in something that I have been trying to get in for a while now. So I was pretty excited, and I thought I would let our listeners know that we were actually able to get in some really great dwarf fruit trees. Oh, awesome. That's super unusual. Right. Those are hard to find. We haven't had those in a few years. Yeah, we can we can find the peaches and the nectarines pretty easy. The pixie peach, pixie yeah. nectarine, bonanza. Those we've had. Those we've been able to find. But I always have people asking for apple trees and pear yeah. trees. And I'm always like, no, I don't have it. Can't get it. No, I don't have it. Can't get it. Well, we finally got some in. So true dwarf. Mm -hmm. Not, not semi-dwarf. Not... Nope genetic dwarf like the miniature like knee high stuff but just a dwarf i right. want a, an apple tree that's half the normal size yes yeah. so these that. will be about 10 by 10. perfect you, know, or you can perfect. shape them to whatever you want okay but pretty exciting so, so. should we should, can i just explain what the different sure. types of trees are just for listeners can. that are so, so there's the standard size fruit tree mm -hmm. this is what your grandparents grew they could be almost a shade tree if you have larger properties Perfect. That's your standard apples, be 25 by 25. Your standard peach, 20 by 20. Your standard plum, maybe 18 by 18. And then you got semi dwarf. Mm -hmm. So these are all graphs. So we're grafting on different kinds of rootstock, and the roots control how large the, that actual Fuji apple, Honeycrisp, Macintosh gets up by the roots. Mm -hmm. Same fruit size, but the tree is physically smaller so semi-dwarf will be about 25 percent smaller than a standard tree so instead of 25 by 25 it's an 18 foot mm -hmm. uh, semi-dwarf apple tree uh, then you've got dwarfed these are usually half the size of a regular tree so mm -hmm. they're they're pint size tree form maybe they're instead of 25 they're 10 12 feet by 10 12 feet so it's 10 by 10. And then you got genetic dwarf these are tiny guys Again, the same same peach, same size Alberta peach, but the tree is only hip high. Kind of this cute little ball shaped, looks cute. So you've got standard, semi-dwarfed, dwarfed, and genetically dwarfed trees. There are four different sizes. The fruit doesn't change, but the size of the tree mm -hmm. changes. Did I do that justice? Sure. Sounds good to me. Okay, and you were going with the dwarf sizes. Yes. Yeah, I love it. So most of the ones we got in are apples. Okay. Um, but we did get one Bartlett pear as well. Oh, self fruitful. Self -fruitful good. Bartlett pear, self fruitful dwarf size. We also got in the Fuji apple, which is that really nice red I like apple. Fuji's. We got Honeycrisp. Yeah. We got Johnna Gold, and we got red Macintosh. Ooh. And so we got all those in the dwarf apple trees. Jonagol, the best apple, like uh, uh, you know, sauces, leathers. Oh, oh my yeah, gosh. It's a nice, sweet apple. Eating off the tree, honey crisp. Mm -hmm. Macintosh, kind of old school, but it's got this crisp tartness. Mm -hmm. It could be baked. It could be eaten right off the tree. It's like the most versatile apple of right. all of them. Right. I think, I know Fuji, Granny Smith, Jonagol are all self-pollinating. Yes. 
Honeycrisp is not. Right. But Macintosh, is that so? No, but I think okay. Honeycrisp cross pollinates a Fuji and vice versa. Okay. Okay. So you do need buddies sometimes right. for fruit trees. They need twos. <laughs> so uh, you got to do the homework. That's one. Come talk to us. Right. So we'll make sure you don't make a mistake. And the Keep trees the right need trees. to be not side by side, but kind of in line of sight. Don't put mm -hmm. a barn or building. Don't put one on the patio in the front, the other on the back patio right. on the back. Put them kind of in the same front yard. So they pollinate. And they'll pollinate. The bees yeah. will do all the work mm -hmm. for you. I will, just as a side note, let you know, too, we got some more apricots in. When We've had a <sighs> heck of a time finding apricots this year. Uh, so we did get some more apricots. So. Uh, if you've been waiting for one, now's the time. And you say apricot, I say apricot. You say potato, I say potato. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. the same. Uh, so some of the other edible type things that we also have in right now, because it's a great time to still put in your, uh, if you want to put blackberries in, raspberries in, it's grapes, ideal. you yeah. still have time. Ideal time. We have a great selection of raspberries right now. We have the canby, which is probably the most thornless of yeah. a raspberry yeah. you're ever going to find. Yeah. You, you can still handle have it. some. You can handle it and not yeah. wear gloves. Right, right. Yeah, be careful, but just you, oh, yeah. you, don't, you don't need gloves. Right. Everything else, you better wear like full-on gloves and you still look <laughs> like you're in a cat fight. Right, it's, it's brutal. <laughs> so we have Williamette, we have Caroline, and we have Heritage that oh, are nice. all raspberry, red raspberries. Yeah. And then we also have uh, Marion Blackberry, which is a blackberry raspberry hybrid. Yeah. So that's a nice one too. A lot of people look for that one, a little harder to find. So definitely want to check that one out. We also have the Prime Arc Perfect. The Blackberry, which is a thornless blackberry. So if you don't want to have to fight the thorns, that's a good way to go. For and Arc I too, I think it's shorter, isn't it? And it fruits on right. its single year wood. So there's a lot right. of benefits with that Arc mm -hmm. series. Because most black most berries form on second year wood. You got to prune them just right. You got to be more of a gardener. Mm -hmm. But the Arc series, just blunder your way. Yeah. You have bushels of bass berries. It'll be fine. Right. You can definitely blunder your way with that one. Um, we also have some figs in. If you're into figs, we have the uh, brown turkey fig and the black mission fig. Nice. And I think there might be a few Chicago Hardies okay. in. Um, and the figs do well here. You just have to remember. They're going to go completely back and it's going <laughs> to. You're going to act perennial. They yeah. They're going to they go back to the ground. Mm -hmm. They're going to come back fresh and they don't, they wait till it's summer. They don't, they want the ground warm. Hot. They like, they're actively growing now and mm -hmm. they'll actively put fruit on now through autumn. Right. Absolutely. You and betcha. big fruits, big, big, nice, juicy. My mouth just watered thinking about this. <laughs> well, good. I think my grandfather used to be out there protecting his figs i think every day he just kind of camped out in a lawn chair and a stick and just kind of <laughs> kept it till all those figs he ate them all i think mm -hmm. uh, good protecting his figs very, very good, good for, for you, you. Uh, we also have a lot of nice grapes in and we are like in the a really great environment for growing grapes oh yeah perfect you know, they kind of like that more alkaline soil don't they you yep. know, just kind of the the climate that we have for it is perfect for them yep and if you've got a fence line or you just got some trellises up, grapes are per pergolas. Really well, we have nat gra grapes naturally grow here. There's a wild grape that mm -hmm. just grows around. It doesn't form a very big grape. It's not right. a very nice grape, but it's pretty. <laughs> but if the native ones will grow, you know, the the you know the agricultural oh, type yeah. of table grapes mm -hmm. will be amazing. And there's quite a, there's more and more vineyards oh, here oh yeah definitely but we have a lot of grapes in we have the zestful um monrovia zestful series which is um, a dwarfed right yeah and they have a red grape and a, a golden they call it golden chalice okay really Ooh. nice they have big fruits on them they're really nice and, and t great taste on them too uh, we have the marquette which actually is a red wine grape so that's a good one we have some concord seedless which those are my favorite. And then we also have the Swenson, which is red. And we have the Kennedys, which is Kennedys. a red. Kennedys, that's a great hearty one. Boy, so again, yes. dwarfed varieties, but the same, the fruit is not dwarfed, the plant is dwarfed. Right. Great choice, it's a great time to plant dwarf trees in your, or dwarf edibles, I guess, <laughs> in your backyard. Kennelisa Lane, the Mountain Gardeners. Thanks, babe, mm -hmm. see you in a bit.